Yo Wagwan, hope you're having a great day. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to overlap audio in Studio One. This is incredibly useful when you're recording songs. For example, if you have one line that kind of feeds into the next one. And if you listen to a lot of rap songs, you'll probably hear what I'm talking about. It's kind of hard to explain without actually showing you. So I'm going to show you in this video and show you exactly how to get it done as well on one track. So you don't have to duplicate that track and create another one and use up a bunch of cpu like i was doing before i discovered how to do this you're going to be able to save cpu and get this done super super easily so if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter ray from jaycarteray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here guaranteed now my question of the day is what are you watching this video for like what are you trying to do in your song are you rapping are you singing are you playing an instrument why do you want to overlap audio let me know in the comment section down below now let's get straight into this now this is my spotify ready vocal mixing template of course and let's actually get my headphones on so i can hear what's going on because that's gonna be useful <laughs> so basically i'm gonna record something and then i'm gonna record something next to it and i'm gonna show you what happens when you don't enable audio overlap and then i'm gonna show you what happens when you do enable audio overlap so you can kind of see the difference and see what happens so let's just record testing testing one two one two i am recording i am recording we're gonna go about to there and then we're gonna stop so <laughs> that's that i've also got my sample size pretty high so things are gonna be offbeat but let's quickly head this back then one two one two oh is my speaker on turn that off okay i am recording i am recording we're gonna go about to as you can hear vocals already sound spotify ready and quite nice but that all tunes out of tune because <laughs> i'm just talking and not singing but let's now record something let's say this was the end of the bar and i needed to record something right at the end of this phrase here and then this here. there there so right here i wanted to start recording if i was to record now the way i've got it set up is it will create another layer and you should watch my video on how to record vocals in studio one if you haven't done so already so you can get this set up so you can actually punch in your vocals but it will record another layer and i can try to well let me show you how it works about to testing testing one two one two one two testing testing one two one two one two so with this actually i need to record that again so that i've actually got some audio coming in like About straight to. away testing 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 there we go that's a bit better now with this i can fade stuff in yeah so we can fade it in like this there, testing, testing. There, testing, testing, test. and because this isn't that far off let's actually bring this to like half the word and let's bring that over here now what this will do is it's going to fade out this and fade in the the new recording so it's going to fade out the old recording fade in the new recording like this so let's actually get the beginning of this word as well so you can clearly see what's going on so as you can see it's not overlapping it's stopping this recording to bring in this recording and i can fade between them and all that sort of stuff but it's never going to sound perfect it's never going to sound like my new recording is under the old recording which is the effect that i want usually what i used to do to do this is i would just duplicate this whole track which duplicates all the effects and uses a bunch of cpu but that's not what we're going to do today so let me delete this take and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the top left, go to the inspector and I'm going to allow it to play overlaps. OK, so what this does is it allows me to overlap my recordings. So now if I record, my new recording is going to be under my old recording like so. Let's record testing, 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 testing. So as you can see, 
my old recording is under i mean my new recording is under my old recording let's play this back testing 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 so while i'm still saying there my new recording is coming in testing 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 and I can even make this longer so we can hear the full word without it, you know, fading or, or what have you. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. And we can move this over here. <laughs> testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing. So you can hear it's really overlapping, okay? Very, very obvious that it's overlapping and stuff. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. It's very, very useful. Once you start playing overlaps you kind of got to commit to that and then everything else other than that like if you want to punch in you really need to clean up your audio so that it's not overlapping now i did mean to use this in a song before and then eventually i didn't need to use it anymore but it's, it's a great thing for me to learn and for to, to teach you how to do it as well if you want to get your vocals mixed in half the time half mix before you even get to the mixing stage you want your vocals to sound spotify ready without going through a bunch of hoops and learning a bunch of stuff about mixing and you want it basically done for you i highly suggest you grab my spotify ready vocal mixing template there's a link in the description down below where you can find out more or go to jcartaray.com forward slash vocal templates and that will take you to the same place we can learn more about it i've got a vocal mixing template for studio one and a vocal mixing template for fl studio right now so go over there understand what's in it and all that sort of stuff it also comes with a pdf where i walk you through all the settings that i use so if you don't want to use the same plugins that i use you can use your own plugins and just use the same settings that i use which is worth the price already but you're also getting the actual template so you can just plug everything in and get everything set up in minutes if you get the same plugins which i highly suggest you do because it's going to make your vocals sound even better okay so if you've got any other questions or any other videos you want me to make please let me know in the comment section down below and i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing peace out